when we fight a lot and I feel like a lot of the time Hey guys, this is Luca from The Positive Guys with... Fortunato. Welcome and this to episode is 31. Podca- <laughs> oh my god, what, what were you going to say? Gosh, welcome to episode 31. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, uh, like, Father's Day was a few uh, yeah, few days dude. ago. Wait, when, when is Father's Day? The 21st? June 21st, I think? Yeah, it's on Sunday. Yeah, that June passed. 21st, Sunday. Yeah, it just I was passed. going like this, but like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that way. <laughs> that way, it's gone. Yeah, it was Father's Day, June 21st, for, uh, on the Sunday, guys. And today we're going to do a little Father's Day type of podcast for you guys. Yeah, like, w- w- what do you think about Father's Day? <laughs> What's a father? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Papa? <laughs> uh, isn't, don't you own a foundation uh, called the Father's yeah, Law fa- Foundation? Father's Law Foundation. It's our competitors. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. So, actually, let's talk about it. Because we talked about Mother's Day, the, Mother's Day, uh, the Mother's Day podcast. And I want to talk about the Father's Day. Yeah, we can't forget. No, we can't forget about our daddies, hard our working, and our dads, and our yeah. papas. Guys, a dad for me is very important because I inspire to be a great dad. So when I look at my dad, I see a great, yeah. I see a great man, I see a great father. So same. I inspire to be the same. Yeah. You know what I, I'm trying to say? I want to be that dad with the barbecue, brand new barbecue, yeah. cooking, grilling, the pool. Exactly. But what do you think about a dad? What do you, what do you, what do you feel like your dad brings you? Has a child. If if I think of my dad, I think the guy that uh, just held us the tears. Oh God, <laughs> you? <laughs> I don't know. Cry. Has, has, like doesn't have, cry. Have you, have you ever seen your dad cry? No, never. Oh, I've seen him a couple of crimes, but not a lot. Okay, never. 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 Oh man. Never. Twenty well, years. Never. For me, um, well, my dad, I have a relationship where he's very comedic. So I, you yeah. know, we we joke around a lot, we laugh a lot, we fight a lot, and I feel like a lot of the times. He's and almost like your brother. I've yeah, it's more like an older brother. Understand? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like he's my son because I got to take care of him. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like sometimes, especially at this age, at this age, you really bond with your dad, if I could say. Yeah. Because at this age, you're really looking at adulthood, understand? And your dad can show you a lot of things and experience. And a lot of times I have talks with my dad about, you know, that I agree with and I disagree sometimes. And he tells me how to live my life in a way, but not to control my life. Yeah, I agree. And sometimes it gets like, it gets rough because they're, they're giving their view and exactly. then you're like, wait, but th- this is, this is not this is, 19, no, like, is, it's not, not 1969. Yeah. So I was like, in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, in my head, it's like, mm, like, yeah, exactly. why, like, am, is this advice solid? But I just think so, sometimes, it's, yeah. I feel like so, when my dad gives advice, he doesn't give like just random advice. He gives solid advice. Solid advice. Yeah. I think like my dad, like in a way, like as much as he's like, for me, he's like a big clown for me sometimes because he's a comedian I understand he jokes around he gets mad he gets nervous like a regular dad does but I just feel like sometimes the advice he gives you sometimes as much as we take it for granted now when we get to his age and we get to a certain age we're going to say wow was he right What's yeah that, right? I, that that's for sure because like because they the, always tell us that now yeah right? they've lived everything before us exactly so there they know go. what's going to happen exactly it's like Going through this coronavirus, I don't think they've ever, they've gone through something similar. For, for them, it's just like, be careful, take precautions. Take, like, yeah. I'm not going to stop going out. Exactly. Obviously, they're not going into big crowds. By going out, they mean like, going to the groceries, doing yeah, these things. They're not going to start, like, I see a lot of people, like, even back to the coronavirus, like, ordering. But yeah. my dad just like, okay, I'm going to go. There you go. Clean the food before I get here. Exactly. Take precautions and that's it. I just feel like um, there's different sorts of dads. And it's not like there's dads that are like funny. There's dads that are very strict. There's dads that are very nervous. And there's just a, a good dad and there's a very bad dad. Yeah. Understand? And I, I've seen a lot of the uh, those roles in my dad, my friend's dad or people that I know that are older to have kids. Yeah. And I just feel like sometimes, guys, whoever you guys are, if you have a dad that you feel like is a good dad and you feel like your dad... Okay, it might educate you a lot of times, might be strict, but it's there for you. When you get home at night, it's there, understand, to put food on the table, to put a roof over your head. You have something that a lot of millions of people don't have. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. And my dad is the one that's super calm. Okay. Out of my mom. My mom, like, like Louder. something happened with the car, right? Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't horrible. She just got super mad. Yeah. It was insane. <laughs> dun, it was dun, like, dun. Yeah, it was really bad. And then my dad comes out and is like, oh, wait till your mom sees this. That was his reaction. A little picture of the car right here. Imagine that. <laughs> but yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I think like, um, the, like my dad has to be the mom and the dad. So a lot of times like he'll show me how like sometimes he's like, he's like trying to give me that caring figure, but I won't, he won't give me a hug. Understand? Like yeah. we don't have that type of love. We yeah. don't have that type of, not love, we don't have that type of emotion. Yeah. Emotional like I care. see some dads call their kids sweetheart. Yes. The day I'm going to get called that is the day I won't like be here anymore. But I get married, that's like, sweetheart, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Like I, that some dads say that to their sons and I'm like, wow. 
<laughs> I'm so confused. I'm like, whoa. Wow. I'm like, Yo, no, 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 this is a new species. Here. This is a new species of that. <laughs> but honestly, I think at the end of the day, guys, doing this far as a podcast, we have to really say that we're thankful for our dads. I mean, our, at the end of the day, as much as we can say, like now in this generation, the mom is sometimes the man of the house. Mm-hmm. The dad is the man of the house. Whoever it is in your, and whoever it is in your life that's the man of the house, it can, it can even be that you don't have your dad no more, but you have your mom. And for you, that's a dad figure. Guys, at the end of the day, we should be so, so grateful for that. Absolutely. And like that, they're, they're here. Without them, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah. And they're here temporarily. Exactly. Everyone's here thing. temporarily. And exactly. people take that for advantage. Some people t- treat their parents very badly. You can see it. You can see it a lot yeah. of times. And I feel like sometimes guys like, the dad at the, at the times has to be more of the strict. I, I always see like the dad being the more the strict Freaking person. Freaking coincidence! It's crazy. Oh my god, my dad's calling you. One second. <laughs> yeah, I can't speak right now. Dad, I'll call you back, okay? A few moments later. That was, that was freak- my dad. <laughs> that was freaking crazy. <laughs> That's my dad calling me. So guys, in, in the end, I just feel like sometimes it's just like we take our dad, we take our dads for granted, we take our parents for granted, but our dads are the people at the end of the day that bring home a lot of the, you know, the goods for us, understand? They're the, they're the, they're the people that really yeah. do us do what we need and really give us what we what we have in our lives. They're hard working. Exactly. Not not that mothers are not hard working, but dads are like I feel like my dad in my household, he he works. Well, my mom works too. Exactly. I can't say. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty equal. There you go. But like if my mom needs help, like lifting the couch, we're not going to make my mom do it. My no. dad's going to be okay. Luca, let's go. Let's we go. pick up exactly. the couch together, whatever we have to do. Exactly. Move it, put it back. And th- it's not my mom. Like my dad as a man, he, I don't, he won't let my mom do that. And it's not because they're not as strong. Women are strong and stronger mentally and exactly. stronger. F- like, like I've seen my mom do things that I've never seen oh my, my dad do, yeah, which is go. like shocking. There you go. So I, it's like, I, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like, I don't know how to say it, but like, Women birth people, exactly. and it's crazy. One that's, second. A, that's something like men will never do. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. Go ahead. So, like, like I was saying, like women are strong. Like a lot of people, like try to compare men and women. They're completely different people. Like exactly. they're different characters, different, and they're like they're so strong, like in their own ways. Like I, I don't even know. Like parents are different kind of race. Yeah. If you know like, I mean, like, w- there's us and then there's the parents. parents. I think like a, one thing I want to do on, on this podcast is do like a real segment about single moms. Understand? Yeah. Because a lot of the times, as much as dads are great, a lot of times dads could be sucky too. I had, I had friends in the past that their dads left them at young ages and they, you know, they, they just left home. Understand? Yeah. And their mom had to pick up the whole pace. And their mom had to, you know, really carry all Which the Which is load. not easy at all. Understand? So I want to give a huge shout and a big clap just to single yeah. moms in general. We love you. I just want to thank and you all. You are greatly appreciated because sometimes dads can be, sometimes men can be freaking assholes. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. And it's, it's just like that. Understand? And I just want to say as much as like the dad is the most important thing in the house, yeah. the mom is what carries the whole load. Yeah. That, that's time, what I was, understand? that's what I was trying to say. Like men are there, but I think women are like very, very powerful. Yes, they like are. there's the hashtag, what is it? Woman power. Yeah. And it's like, all it's true. I, exactly. I I can't disagree. Women are strong mentally, exactly, physically, and physically, exactly. And it's like they have everything. I love how this is for dads, and we're going into the women category. That's I know. How, that's how that's how much we love women on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but honestly, guys, at the end of the day, like dads are one of the most important things in your lives for a lot of us. Understand? And like me and Lucas said, they bring home the bread and butter, just like women do. But they bring home the bread and butter, and they really, really. You know, a man figure is very important to have in your life because they show us different characteristics. And, you know, we can have that talk with them about yeah. women. We can have that talk with them about different stuff as teenagers and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, a dad is very important to yeah. us. And we like, hope for all dads in, like, in, like, I feel like the dad's the one who shows you how to drive. No. <laughs> Not for you? My dad to show me how to drive? Yeah. My Did dad showed me how to drive. Did he was... bring you in the car and do the thing? Yeah, like, yeah, this yeah, is a sh- P, this is he, Repar. He used to make me drive in the, he used to make me drive in the cemetery. He's like if it, he's like if you drive in the cemetery, if you smash, if you hit anybody, at least then I'll lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he used to tell me. I'm, I'm, no disrespect to anybody, and you know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying, a dad is like there's certain things you can do with your dad. There's the dad jokes too. Dad jokes are great. I yeah. I say dad jokes all the exactly. time. It's like they, there you they're, go. They're so funny and they're like. I'm telling you, because there's, no no, there's certain things you can't do with your mom that you do with your dad. Yeah, yeah like I that. agree. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we love moms, we love dads, we love yeah. people, we love everybody on the podcast. And I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody out there uh, and all the fathers out there, young fathers, old fathers, we love you. Yeah. Keep doing your thing. If you're a good dad, we respect you. And what, what do you think, like, 
if you picture your dad like doing something and helping you, what, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Like from the, the past or something? For helping me? Yeah. I, I mean, my dad's helped me a lot of times with my cars. I've had a lot of bad luck with cars. And I, I feel like a lot of times, whenever I, wherever I was, no matter what help I needed, if I call him, he's there. Okay. Yeah. Me too. As much as like, yeah, as much even as if like, I did the stupidest mistake of my life, he's there, he's there and he's not, he's not even going to, he's not going to say anything. No. He's going to be like, no, my dad's going to like go crazy. He's yeah. gonna get nervous, but he's gonna he's gonna help me. No, my mom's the one to do that. My okay. mom's the one to like uh, get lose it on me and do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> but yeah, but I, like, I, it's it's something that like, you know, like I I don't mind. It's that I I love that they're there. I love that their presence, and it's it's something that like a lot of people take for granted. There you go. And exactly. like waking up in the morning and like every Saturday having those like big breakfasts or my well, you won't forget crap. those. Yeah, like my mom making like pancakes, exactly. bacon. Like all go. these things, it's so good and there tasty. You, like there you go. these are things that I'm gonna miss because, like, yeah, I like. It's just like oh, something. Where are you going? I don't know where I'm going anymore. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm move, lost. When you when, 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 it is true though. When you move out one day and you have to become your own father, it is tough. In the beginning, I, yeah. I, I, I I'm not a father yet. Maybe I'll be in the next few years. You have I to mean, practice the chef there experience. There you go. I just feel like I'll, I'll I learned a lot from my dad being a father, and I learned a lot, and I'm gonna put that into my knowledge of being a dad because if you had a good dad figure in your life. Like I said, you're one of the luckiest people in the world yeah. because you're going to be able to put that knowledge you learned with your dad to your kids. Exactly. And, and it's, not, it's, it's not easy. No, it's exactly. never going to be easy. No matter where you, like, what you're going to do, it's not going to be easy. No, As no. a father, it's like, it's you, one of the hardest things. there's always weight because there's the title, the father, the mother, like it gives exactly. you a title. And once you have that title, you have a big responsibility. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm very excited because at the end of the day, you know, my dad told me, he's like, a lot, a lot of the moments in life where I was there to see you, understand, and, and they're going to be there to see you, understand, it's, it's beautiful to see. It's beautiful to see your, your kids graduate high school. Yeah. It's beautiful to see your kids, you know, going to prom, going to, mar- getting married, understand, having their own kids, being a grandfather. And you know I mean, it is a beautiful thing. I can't wait to become a father. Yeah. So whoever's a father now, you're lucky. But one thing you're going to have to show your kids how to do is fish, which you oh, don't know fish. how to fish. I don't know how to fish. I, I, I gotta it's going to be a problem. I, my dad doesn't even know how to fish. Oh, God. And my dad's dad didn't know how to fish. So <laughs> I, I don't think we're any fishermen in my family. <laughs> <laughs> I got I to gotta teach my kids something else. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you once again for tuning into another podcast, guys. Uh, if you want to say thank you to all the fathers out there, yeah. we want to wish you guys a happy Father's Day. Yeah, absolutely. Like... Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything you do, guys. And uh, honestly, without you guys, we'd be nothing. Yes. <laughs> without the fathers, we'd be nothing. Exactly. Love you guys all. Happy Father's Day from the Father's Day, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.